and good morning everybody welcome back to euro truck simulator 2 so i've made a one slight change to the game today and i've put the command underneath all future videos so i've added the command in the console g underscore bloom zero and it just removes that horrible bloom from the screen some like it personally i'm not a big fan of it so in today's video part one we're going to take a load from Dusseldorf to BRNO in Czechoslovakia. Uh, we've got 48 hours remaining, he's had double sleeps, we've picked the load up, uh, I have activated advanced trailer coupling, so we have now got to bang the trailers in, just to add to our woes. It's the DB Schenker trailer, there it is, we can turn the beacons off, let's fire her up. Uh, 12 hours and 48 minutes to destination uh, so clearly it's going to be a two-part of this one so we'll do six hours for the first one and then six hours for the second and that should okay, complete the job let's find a new route. Uh, so get let's get on our merry right. way uh, hopefully that horrible turn blue right. is now gone uh, from your screens uh, Hopefully the images will be a lot, lot clearer for you. Uh, this game is now, when I'm not recording, running absolutely beautiful. Get ready it's like spider run. silk, but of course when I'm recording, well, it puts a lot of extra pressure onto the PC, of Turn course. Right. Uh, and especially the little graphics card. Uh, but nevertheless, I think it's doing what we want it to do and it's producing the content for it and all I can do is doff my hat to it. Go We're straight on. Still in our beautiful little man PC. As I say we do have the Renault as well in the garage. Uh, this is the older man Turn TGX, back. it's not the latest 2023 one. Uh, but do you know what's good enough? So it's currently 8.01am in game. Uh, our ETA is quarter to nine tonight, uh, that's in game time of course, if we do it straight through. We have got plenty of time uh, to sleep, so 12 hours and 43, our next sleep in 10.45, so we will have to sleep along the way. All part and parcel of the joy, isn't it? Uh, and on the back we've got 19 tonnes of oil, going to be our NO sand builders in Czechoslovakia we really are getting around now these days aren't we just saying bezin all over the shop gotta be done so we'll get this first part uh, <coughs> done we'll go for the six hour mark and then try and find somewhere to sleep ready for part two I hope you're enjoying the content I'm absolutely loving it Ah, loving this little man, it's great, ideal truck. Uh, it's not full of bling, it's just a basic and it's a 360 brake engine which makes the whole experience even more immersive. I hope you're all having a great time doing whatever it is you're doing. It really doesn't matter as long as you're enjoying the pants out of it, that's what matters. Uh, I have also upgraded the transmission from a 12 speed to a 16 speed uh, just to give us uh, a few more options and a little bit smoother drive train. Hopefully that will pay dividends for us in the long run as we absolutely hammer <coughs> Excuse me, this little man truck. Speed limit's 50 so let's get the cruise on. Leave it at around 46, 47, and make our way over to Czechoslovakia. So let's just have a quick look at leaving Dusseldorf in Deutschland in Germany, and we're going to make our way over via Erfurt, round by Dresden, down on into Prague in Czechoslovakia, and then on to BR. And I, I'm guessing we're going to sleep. Uh, Possibly somewhere around here, maybe. Although well, that's quite a long run, isn't it? Uh, eh. Not sure. Uh, 
I don't think there's anywhere else to sleep actually other than here uh, so we'll mark this down Let's do this. and we'll try and go via that sleep spot there uh, and let him get some rest as we make our way over to Czechoslovakia So there is one thing for sure, we can tell we've got 17 ton on the back, that is for sure. Left, and then continue straight on. Uh, this little, and that's only 17 ton isn't it, is it 17 ton, on. 19 ton, my god, god help us if we get a decent weight on the back, we are going to be in soap and bubble, just saying. Mind you, 360 brake engine, it's not going to be the greatest puller in the world is it? Uh, she is beautiful, silky smooth, no blue, really rich colours, and silky smooth when I'm not recording a video, of course. As I say, it really does blow me away in 2023 how little spec hardware you need to be able to produce YouTube content. Might not be uh, the finest quality YouTube content on the planet, but hey the hardware that we've got, I think it's outstanding, absolutely outstanding, what do you reckon Bex? Yeah, I think Bex here agrees. Uh, so we'll make our way to that sleep spot, I'm not sure if that's going to be six hours worth, but I think it will be good enough to allow us to complete the journey, it should be. Uh, we're looking for around the six hour mark before we sleep. Uh, but I've got to be honest, there's not an awful lot of sleep spots uh, on this journey. The truck itself is amazing. Uh, the game is amazing. We've got all the extra content added now. 
so we can literally just sit back, relax and enjoy the game, enjoy the drive, see what sights we can see uh, and see how successful we are as a one man band trucker. Absolutely seems to be rock solid and reliable. Not let me down Exit. once yet, no right. crashes. As I say, it might not Go be straight on. the super smoothest, super high quality in the world, but when you think we're only packing a little two gigabyte graphics card, which is an AMD Raiden, right. so we don't have the luxury of NVIDIA profile inspector settings. Uh, I think it's fantastic, all testament to SCS for not only producing a fantastic game uh, but also making it thoroughly accessible to everyone and I mean everyone just about made it up that gradient uh, at least the truck didn't scream bless it where we've just took, come from, lad, to get it over at the Dover and actually look at what we're doing. Wouldn't that be a thing, Ebes? Your crab. So, as I say, we're looking around about the six hour mark before we sleep. Fingers crossed. If we've planned it right, it should be bang on, perfect. Guffed it up. Well, we've guffed it up. Uh, but I can't believe he had double sleeps and yet he's still only got seven hours till the next rest stop. Believable. I hope this is not our rest stop. Fingers crossed. Because uh, it's way too early. Need to get that hourage down. No, it's not. Good. Too early for us. Uh, 
Uh, now, as I say, when I'm not recording videos, this is so spider silkish, it's unbelievable. <coughs> it really is amazing. Damn, I love this game. I don't think I'll ever fall out of love with it, you know. Uh, it's that good, really. Why does the lane always end whenever I get over? Thoroughly amazing this game. It really, really is. So relaxing and enjoyable. Driving all over the globe. It's an American truck. Absolutely brilliant games. The key really is setting them up right so that you get maximum immersion and pleasure. Whether you want to go for as realistic as possible or whether you just want to stick a 2000 horsepower rocket engine in it from A to B at 300 mile an hour that's your choice personally I love the immersion side of it always have I know some people might find it a little bit boring and that's absolutely fine but I just oh, I can't get enough so good this game uh, and hopefully you lot are along with me journey towards map completion as we do our best to fill in all the little areas in the map where we haven't been and we've yet to discover so that should be pretty cool pretty cool yo. Uh, okay, so it's telling us to get over. Still got a 50 mile an hour speed limit, which is fine. We're still at 45, and I need to thrash the backside out of the little TGX. Myself. <laughs> Look, gotta blow your own trump out, haven't you? Just saying. So we've now got a uh, skilled parking and advanced trailer coupling enabled, so we've got as much immersion as we can handle. We've got the beautiful companies and trailer pack installed as well. So we can be called in real brands rather than pretend ones. Nice. Okay, we're about to go sub eight hour very shortly. If the little man can get up the hill, bless it. But I'm guessing this is pretty much how it is in real life. You know, as I say, it's not sports car or a Formula 1 race car, you're not going to be buzzing round everywhere at 100 miles an hour in real life, it's a struggle. <coughs> Excuse me, especially with a lower powered engine equipped truck. Uh, and the speed limits do tend to reflect that as well. Tower, which is coming down in the right direction. Perfect. <sighs> I wonder if 
this is our split sleep spot. And he said split spot. <laughs> oh well. No, it's not. That's good. We need to go a little bit further to our split spot. Now that's one on the left hand side. And there's our sleep spot there, so that's perfect. That should just be around about the six hour mark. Which should allow us to have an eight hour sleep and then... I might even do double sleeps. I think we've got enough time left, haven't we? We've got, we've got 42 hours left on the job. So we could have double sleeps and sleep the night away, actually. Uh, and just do day drives. We'll see when we get there whether we go for double sleeps. I'm guessing we probably will. Because uh, it's still going to leave us tons of time to complete the delivery. There she is our beautiful DB Shake. I do like this view, by the way. certainly makes it a lot easier on the PC not having to render all this in cab guff everywhere uh, anyway perfect so we're now going to come to sub 7 hour to destination which is going to be about bang on you know I reckon that's going to leave us about six hours to destination double sleep and we'll be good to go to complete the journey in part two which will be terrific that if it go Hardware in it. Uh, I think we've got it nailed, Pete. 
have to stick a 1050 Ti in it or some RX equivalent. I'm not sure what the RX equivalent of a 1050 Ti is for gig. Uh, maybe a 5 RX 580 or something. I'm guessing. Keep left. Again, all these graphics cards that I'm using, they all draw their power directly off the motherboard via the PCI slot. Uh, no external power plugs required, which means your little cheap PC uh, uses bugger all electricity, which in today's modern world matters. If you've got big, big energy bills, uh, every little helps. For me, it's just win win. Absolute win win. You watch, I'll get over in the bloody lane all end. Always does. Well, we're now sub six hour to destination, so we could do with this sleep point coming up real soon. Uh, and we're not going to need to double sleeps. If we don't double sleep, then it's going to be a night time finish. Uh, if we double sleep, then we'll be back there for morning, which will be nice. Still got 40 hours. Which should be perfect. I don't think we'll need to double sleep. We can do uh, we can do a night time or very early morning finish. Why not? Here we go. It's our beautiful sleep spot. Little man is growling, pulling for England. Good Keep job, right. man. Good and job. then exit right. Oh, right. we can also get fuel here as well, so it's double bubble. So we'll refuel the truck. Go straight on. While we're here. Uh, and then we'll go and get our Uncle Ned's down. She's a thirsty girl, isn't she? Wow. Cheese and rice. What a thirsty girl. Uh, okay. Not what I was expecting, but anyway. Let's go and find a sleep spot, pull it up, and then in the next episode we can decide how long we're going to sleep, whether we do single or double sleeps. Go straight on. Sleep part, pick a spot. Curtains drawn and blacked out the cab. Get your head down. But make sure your cab's locked. Okay, and there we are. So there you go, everybody. Um, I'm going to do a save here. Dusseldorf to BRNO in Czechoslovakia, part one. Done. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Sum the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked. Bob video.